Howard Hughes was an American business magnate and one of the wealthiest people in the world. When he died in 1976, his net worth was $2.5 billion, or approximately $17 billion in today's terms. Yet, he died of malnutrition and drug abuse. Howard Hughes's death caused a commotion in the media. In a public address a week after Hughes's death and a few days before Pesach, the Lubavitcher Rebbe Menachem Mendel Schneerson mentioned Howard Hughes. The Rebbe described how, despite his wealth and influence, Hughes could not enjoy the simplest freedoms. When he traveled, he did so in secret so that no one could track his whereabouts. He assumed an alias due to the fear of being shot, kidnapped, or robbed. He barely ate for fear of being poisoned and trusted no one for fear that they were after his money. The Rebbe concluded that with his two billion dollars, Howard Hughes could have been master of all kinds of good things, but instead, they became master of him. Hughes was like all of us. We hold the keys to our freedom, but all too often, we use them to lock ourselves in.